Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to update a Minecraft resource pack to the new version 1.16. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and of course, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff. Updating your resource pack to 1.16 is actually pretty simple, especially if you're mostly working with textures. So let's switch over to the desktop, and I'll begin taking a look at this. Here we go, and here's the latest jar file. I've unzipped this. The first thing I want to show you is where you can find that pack.mc meta and also the pack.png file. If you don't happen to have those, just unzip the jar file, open that up, and you'll see this list here, just a ton of stuff. Just scroll way down. Notice that it's alphabetical, so scroll way down to get down to the P's. And there we go. There's the pack.mc meta and there's the pack.png file. Now, the pack PNG is just a PNG file at 128 by 128. Any square file will do. I normally use this one that I've upresed to 256 by 256. And that's all it has to be, nothing special about that. Now, the pack MC meta has a slight change here in version 1.16, and that's just the pack format has been moved over here instead of over there. They just swapped the position of those two things. Now, I have my pack MC meta over here from version 1.14, so I'm just going to copy this out of the new version. I'll just do right click and copy. Get rid of that. Let's open up this one over here. This is my 1.14. There we go. It says pack format 4. And I'm just going to right click and paste the new version on top of that one. So I now have the new pack MC meta. Now the description can be anything that you want. So I'm just going to call this one Mars. Make sure you insert those quotation marks. And notice that the pack format is version 5, same as it was for version 1.15 Minecraft. Okay, that's done. That's all you really have to do here inside of the pack MC meta. Actually, all that you really had to do is just change the 4 to a 5 if you need to make that change. The old one will still work, but I think it's a good idea just to go ahead and get the new format in here while you're at it. Might as well. Okay, so that's taken care of. That's the pack MC meta. We already have our pack PNG again, just a square file. That's fine. So we're done with that thing. We no longer need to be worrying about the new jar file. Now, aside from that, all you really have to do is just to optimize your pack. Now, this is an old pack I did a long time ago, and there were some changes in how the resource packs are structured. So I recommend removing everything that you don't actually need to use, anything that you haven't actually changed, which in this case means the realms and this thing. I'll delete those. Get rid of those things, go inside Minecraft. All I care about here is just the textures folder. Everything else in here goes away. I'll just delete all of that, choose OK. And then in the textures, all I've changed, and this is for my Mars pack, all I've changed is some of the blocks and the color map. I haven't touched anything else in here, so all this stuff can go away. Again, the idea here is you only want to keep things you've actually changed. Everything else goes away. Okay, we'll check our color map. There's not much in here. Just these two color changes and my Photoshop files that I used to make those changes. So that's fine. I'll leave that as is. Now in the block section, there's a lot of stuff. All the blocks are in here, including the ones that I changed. Like down here, I changed the bamboo to kind of a red color instead of the green color. And there's my Photoshop file that I used to make that change. So I need to go through and get rid of everything that I didn't change, and I'll just keep what I did change. Let me just do the very top up here to show you. Just select and delete, get rid of those things. There you go, that's all gone. Now I'll just go through here and I'll delete everything else that I don't need and haven't changed and I'll keep what I have changed, like my dirt right there, I changed that dirt, so I'll keep that dirt. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video now while I go through and clean this out, then I'll bring the video right back up again. Okay, there we go. Those are the textures that I changed to give my world the kind of a Mars look. Bamboo, coarse dirt, dirt, the grass block side, sand, and stone. And these are my Photoshop files that I used just to make those changes in there. The Photoshop files include the regular texture and also my changed texture. Okay, so that's all cleaned out. We did that one. We did color map. So textures is done. We can now back up to my Mars pack and it's all set to go. And that's really all you have to do. Okay, I'm just going to zip this thing up. Select that, right click. I normally use 7-zip, but you can use any zip program you want for this. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that it saves to the zip format. Very important. I'll go to add to archive. You see right here, archive format, make sure that says zip. That's the most important part of this step. Choose OK. It zips that up, and there it is, that new file. Okay, let's now put this into the resources. And since I have the game running in the background, I'll bring the game up, and we'll get into the resources folder that way. Okay, here we are. Now we need to get out of the game. Let's just back up one step first and go to Options and Resource Packs. And it'll open the pack folder. 
there it is and then I'll click on done done and let's save and quit to title and then quit game so I clear out of the game and let's take the new resource pack here it is I'm gonna right click and drag this over and copy there we go now if I didn't have the game running I could have just typed in up here let's show you this one percent app data percent takes you right there go into Minecraft come down to resource packs same place so the game's running you can go through the game if not just use that percent app data percent to get to the same location and then copy your new resource pack over into this folder okay now that it's here I'll go ahead and restart the game here we go click on play and let it load in and the reason why I'm doing it here is that we need to let the game reload because that's when it reads this folder now as soon as this finishes loading in we'll take a look at that resource pack make it active and see how it works okay let's check options and resource packs and there it is there's the Mars pack me just move this over here should be on top choose done let that load in that new resource pack into the game it's now making it active and we can then go ahead and click done again single player and then start our world and there we go there's that new Mars look there's the change on the grass and on the foliage I have a tree change back in there back inside the greenhouse and look back there on the dirt it has a more orange color to it as well so we've successfully now upgraded or updated that earlier resource pack as a 1.14 resource pack and we updated that to 1.16 okay if you like this video make sure you hit that like button click on share hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos and check out my channel for a bunch more minecraft stuff and I'll see you later.